so it looks like I actually have my camera far enough and Audrey Dolly helping me deal with the fact that I didn't bother getting dressed before vlogging tonight. Um, yes, I do have a script. I'll get to it in a moment. I am time watching as it gets closer to midnight for the start of National Novel Writing Month. But I am talking about Audrey. Not Audrey Dolly. Audrey. To plan or not to plan. To outline. I pondered if that would be good for this exploration of why my relationship with Audrey is important to me. That almost seems like wrong or bad things to consider when we're in October. Nano Rightmo Prep. And me, a determined pantser. Plants her at most. But yes, when my friend read my Noeti sexuality and my Audrey script, the why of the importance was a great question she raised. And I don't think she was talking so much about the val validity issue as I talked in that other vlog, but the relationship itself. I talked in my Looking for Mix Right about who Mix Right might be, why I was still looking for them. I mentioned Audrey in that blog, like, why aren't she and my master enough? Of course, enough is a ridiculous construct, or, or construct, in my opinion, based on as it is mononormativity, compulsory heterosexuality, patriarchy, and other constructs I've worked to remove from my life. And now that I'm back to this script, I'm thinking on muffing. A link for an interesting article about the sexual activity will be in the description or comments. But yeah, I'm fascinated. Audrey and I haven't done it before. I think I may enjoy it tonight, if not tomorrow, since I want to take my time and enjoy it the first time. She said after we experiment, just us, that I could write about it. Maybe for Masturbation Monday? I was driving my daughter to the store to pick up her new glasses when I thought of Audrey, and there she was, when I needed her. Not to say that she always is. <laughs> there are plenty of times when I hear, Remember that we aren't monogamous. Why don't you beg Shaman for something? Ugh. So, I'm continuing on the script when I'm irritated with my master. It can be rough to be in a relationship with someone dealing with depression, especially when both people in the relationship are mood disordered somehow. Not to say that I don't ever struggle with motivation problems. Heck, if you've watched one or more vlogs on this channel, even more if you're a subscriber, you know that I don't manage a regular schedule of uploading. But his lack of self-care the last days has me especially riled. He works midnights, even though he said he talked about getting on to afternoons. And I semi-live like I'm on day shift, although I don't really feel awake until close to noon. Audrey somewhat lives day shift, although she rem remains flexible. Around sub-schedules, or her sub-schedules, I mean, as well as what I do with my sleep schedule. And now I look and think this is so short. How can it be about the importance of my relationship with Audrey if I can't put words together? Yeah, rhetorical maybe. But in a way, Audrey's importance in my life is that simple. I never bought into the mononormative notion that one person should be another person's all. And so Audrey is another person beside my master 
who I'm romantic with. Yeah, Audrey uses shaman instead of master. She's not very cool with the world, the word, and he's not her dominant anyway. Anyway, when I was writing this, National Novel Writing Month started in a week. Of course, now it starts in less than four hours. I was planning to talk with a character of my of mine for my first during Nano Whip It Up Wednesday. There'll be weekly vlogs that should go up sometime on Sunday. Although I'm not sure, especially with the first Sunday in November also being the service in which I'll have my new member ceremony within the service at my new bricks and mortar UU church. I'll be sharing my social media links in the description. I so invite you to all of them, even though I might be iffy on responding. I ask that you consider donating through coffee or supporting me through Patreon if you have the funds to. My master uses his systemic privilege as much as he can to help my daughter and myself, but there's only so much he can do. We haven't been a one-paycheck society in quite a few years. I hope you have a good time until I manage to vlog next. Please take care of you and your loves.